welcome back to another video in this video we are going to install the gns so i have installed in the previous video the workstation pro so i will just minimize this one and if i go to my downloads this is my gns vm so once you download the vm it will be in the zip file you have to extract after that you will get this folder so double click on that one right click and open with workstation see that it's already came back to the workstation just click on import Right, so once this has been installed just uh, click on upgrade virtual machine click on next select the workstation 16 that's what we have downloaded click on next just alter the virtual machine do not create a clone next and finish and once that is done let's assign the resources so if i go to my pc right click properties and you can see that i do have a 16 gb and two core processor that is logically four processors yes i can go ahead and i can assign 8 gb of ram eight gb of ram and i can assign two processors i will assign the two processors and make sure that you tick on this virtualization and one network adapter is like connecting to some other adapter and one is connecting to the internet adapter so i will just select both of them same so that means it is connecting to the internet so then click on ok so once that is been done start the virtual machine ok now you can see that it's a small screen so just click on view go to stretch guest keep aspect ratio stretch so it will take a while so next another thing is that we have to install the gns software application so GNS 2.2.23 all in one. So if you download it from the official website, there will be one more word added in this one that is regular. So if in case you are in Windows 10, you are not able to install the, uh, what do we say, like there is a problem going on for now. After installation, the GNS application is not starting. So in that case, what you have to do is that you just need to go to your Google and just type GitHub GNS3 and go to the release gns3 and from here this version you see that it has this one all in one .exe file so officially it will be regular .exe but either you will not find the regular in this string so you have to select this application and download this one All right so uh, that's what is my pc is giving the problem so that's why i have downloaded the github version Right, so let's go ahead and install the application until this VM comes up. So I will go to my downloads again. So right click, run as administrator, click on yes, click on next, I agree, next, next, next. So in between it will ask you to install the win win cap or and the end map and after that it will also install the Wireshark. So these three applications are already installed in my system. So that's why it is not prom prompting me for that one. Otherwise it will prompt you. So just go ahead and click on OK and click on next select no next and start the GNS. So before I start let me check over here you see that. In this one I got the IP address number one and number two is that I need to make sure that KVM support available should be true anytime. 
if it shows fall then you have to go right click settings turn off your machine and go to your settings and go to your processor and make sure you tick this one option virtualization intel vtx right so i will minimize this one and i will just click on finish and i'm going to start the gns so it will take you to the thank you page just close that one here my gns has been started so just maximize this one so this this is where it will show you any warnings or something or you can also see it at the right hand side right uh, right hand side top corner and here at this moment you can see that it is running on my physical machine so i have installed the virtual machine for my gns this is the one so i need to connect to this machine now so let's go ahead to edit and preferences and go to my server this is a host binding is to the local host just select it and if you go back to your vm machine the ip address is 192.168.60.0 okay 60.0 network so go back go back to your gns3 select that 60 dot network 60 dot one and click on apply right so after that once that is been done it will show you some error don't worry about it that should be good next go to your gns vm and enable the gns vm and make sure that VMware workstation because we have deployed our VM in workstation. And once you select this one, you see that automatically GNS VM is being selected away. Right. And what do you want to do with the VM? Like when you start your application, GNS VM will also start if you select this one. And if you stop the GNS application, then it will automatically stop. So there are three options is like suspend i feel whenever you stop your application it will suspend that one pause that uh, application but means uh, vm will be paused and if you say that keep running the gns vm that means if i stop the gns application still my vm workstation will be running so i will select that, that option click on apply and you see that i got the gns vm over here and click on ok so once that is been done so i will go ahead and i click on file new project it's untitled that should be good click on ok click on yes you see that the green color dot that means i have successfully connected to my gns vm i hope you have enjoyed this video see you in the next video